Hey guys, so I'm right in the middle of updating my studio. I've had my old studio gear since 2010. It's done the miles. It served me well. I thought I'd treat myself and streamline, go thinner and smaller. It's all about getting small to get big. That's our strategy for this year. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm in the middle of doing now before I fly out. I've got client work coming up next week. So I want to test drive these babies, these lights, uh, before that happens. So, so all of my soft boxes are down in storage and I need to get rid of them somehow. I thought I might donate them to a school here in San Francisco or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do there. But I mean, I've got years of light bulbs and all the rest of it that is just sitting in storage. First of all, I'm gonna test the lights by plugging them in and unboxing them, but I won't do a review on them until later on in case you guys are not interested in <laughs> light reviews, let me know. And uh, if you are, let me know. Oh, and if I don't catch you before I fly out, uh, be well, and I will no doubt be vlogging from New Zealand. Okay. Hey guys, got a whole heap of uh, new gear come in this week. Travel gear, which is the Travel Pro range. We usually use the Atlantic. We've had that for, oh gosh, eight years now traveling, and he's handled really well. So this is the Travel Pro Carry on. Flight crew members uh, use this and that there is like the second bag that you can take on. And what I like about it is that it's front loading so that I can just slip my laptop down the front and easily pull it out when I go through security check. There's nothing worse than having to unzip everything and then hold up the line because you know you've got to pull technology out of your bag. And I quite like this one too because I think because it looks prettier and it can also go on the back of the case. He's small enough to sort of wield about the cabin without banging and bumping into people. My old gear was this. And as you can see, he's quite big and bulky. I did like the side pull out. This is where my laptop would go. Even though it's cabin size, yeah, I used to have problems fitting it into an overhead. And that was the old original bag that I used to use. To, again, it was that Seacourse, was it Atlantic? Highly recommend this brand too, really durable and again had these for like what, yeah eight years? Just minimal kind of wear and tear that you'd expect after eight years of regular travel. He's the big guy as well. So that's traveling light. <laughs> this is the electronic case that my lovely husband made for me, it's so adorable. Also I don't leave home without one of these, it looks like a neck brace. Really, really good. So, it, yeah, yeah, it supports your neck when you travel. And sometimes people feel sorry for you <laughs> because they think that you've got a neck injury. It's so funny. These are the eye masks. These are the, they look like fly eyes. They are soft and padded and they just protect like your eyelashes so you can open your eyes. My lovely guy chose these for me as well. He's, he's so thoughtful, but yeah. So he designed that for me. Lots of man planning and thinking went into that. So me, I would have just thrown it all into a plastic bag and stuffed it in <laughs> into my carry-on. But anyway, uh, filming on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now that came in a couple of days ago. And this is, this is the film quality at the moment. I'm still playing around with the video settings. And I'm filming on this one and filming on this one. And it's a wider, longer screen. It slightly wraps around the actual phone edge. Oh, yeah, I got these as well. These things I go through, I seem to break them. <laughs> but these ones here, rugged earbuds with mic. I don't really use the mic, but I use these for video editing. And I break them. Like, they just seem to break on me. But look, that's the thing that sold me. They can hold 10 pounds. And the cable, see the difference? That one there is the standard. This one here can hold a 10 pound dumbbell. And now I'll get into the, the unboxing of... These babies. You guys, so that's the Diva Ring Light Nova on Amazon. And then this one here is the Aperture Amaran, I think it's called. Of course, this video is unsponsored because I'm a small channel. But yeah, so I paid for these myself and did a little bit of research around it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to be okay. So guys, here it is. The three light heads and three stands. Now, there were some criticisms over this bit here not being very durable and breaks easy so that's going to be interesting 
and I was worried there was no carry case, but here's the carry case. Those are it's the gel. So that there is the back of the light. Dim batteries power. Looks like everything is here. Cool battery charger for those guys there, which go into the back of the head. I call them heads. Those are called heads. I'm calling them heads. As well as a connecting cable to charge that. It's like a USB. Cool. Just want to be able to plug them in into a power source to check to see that the lights actually work. <laughs> Wow, guys, check this out. Oh, it's not the most flattering light. Oh, oh. Let there be light. There was light. That's 99%. I was going to turn it down to... That's 10%. Oh, cool. Once upon a time, there was an old, old man. Yeah, it's pretty bright. <laughs> oh, yes, so they all work. Lightweight, it hasn't got any batteries in it yet, so that'll make it heavy, but I'm not gonna use batteries. They feel like a, a, a like a plastic that could, if dropped, would crack. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, they all work, which is great, and I don't hear any, no, they're silent. Now I did read some reviews that these buzzed if tilted, and I hear nothing, absolutely nothing. If you do hear a buzzing, it'll be either the dishwasher or the refrigerator. Because uh, I'm at home. And absolutely no heat, no heat at all. So I'm psyched, I'm thrilled, yay! And everything came with all of its components too. The case seems pretty sturdy, nice and compact. It's actually smaller than a makeup bag. My makeup bag anyway. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, this is not a review. It's just testing to see that all my gear works before I do my client shoot next week. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lot of light. Oh, that reminds me, I've gotta do the Diva Ring. We're back in a minute. This is the Diva Ring light. It's an 18 inch, but man, it's huge. I'm, I don't know how transportable it's gonna be. Oh, Farah, it's huge. Doesn't come with a carry case. So I really don't know how transportable it's going to be. Mm. And what the hell is that? That is blonde hair and I don't have blonde hair. Don't know how to feel about that. This is supposed to be brand new. You guys, so that was a bit gross. I found a blonde hair inside the actual unit. So I'm thinking that this is used, not brand new. So I'm going to send it back. And also, I found there's a sticker here that says it's an electrical warning for use outside of the United States. And in order for me to use it, I need a voltage transformer. So that, that wasn't outlined on the site, on Amazon. Yeah, it just looks dodge. Not, not happy at all about this. The cables, they weren't protected with like a plastic sheath or anything like that. So, mm, I just think it's a bit dodge and I'm not, I'm not prepared to use it. $225, not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. I think it was $225. Mm. Gonna send it back and see if I could go for or find another option. Yeah. Glad I did this. Jeez. Blonde hair inside the unit. Ew! Gross, man. So, guys, here's my replacement ring light. It's a completely different brand. This is newer. 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 And. It arrived from Amazon overnight, so great. Now I'll just test it to see if it works. I went for LED instead because they transport well and less fragile than the fluorescents, you know, the big round circular bulbs that you get. And I thought, oh no, it has no stand, but the stand is in the bottom of the box. So power adapters is another option for, I think, international. 
uh, and also filters that go over the ring light. This plastic filter just clips into place along the light. A little bit finicky but they've all seemed to click into place which is great and I'm just going to test it now. Woo! Yes. Cool. And guys, there was no hair. No stinking dirty hair. Oh, that's awesome. And the stand looks really durable. Metal. I've seen worse, but this is, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, and the bag. So the bag, good carry case, whereas my other one, the Diva, Nova, no carry case. And this arrived today, a four terabyte external hard drive for all the videos, which is great. And here I got a... 27 inch Acer monitor and I love how thin he is. Check that out. My other monitor which is an Asus uh, is a 21 so it's going to be really nice to cut video on a nice big 27. At least I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. So yes! Bar the diva ring. Really thrilled with uh, everything that I need here for new client work. As you know guys, none of this is sponsored, it's all been paid for, our hard earned cash, so I'll let you know how they all go. Guys, anything that you've seen today that you want me to do a review on, let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up and I will tell me specifically which one and I will do a review for you. Uh, other than that, I hope that you guys are doing well and I will catch you probably in New Zealand in sort of early mid-September. All right.